Okay, hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to share with you some of my favorites from July. And I actually have quite a bit of makeup um, that I wanted to show you. I think mainly because the last, all the three months prior, because I've been traveling so much, it really just been about simple BB cream, mineral makeup, and skincare mainly. But I really went full on into blush and bronzer which is what the majority of the stuff is. But also a lot of it I've gotten online over the last year, but I think because I've been sort of in and out of the country so much, I hadn't gotten a chance to really sit back and try it all, but I really did in July. Anyway, let's get straight to it. One of the ones I've been loving, I actually got, I think it was from Beauty Bay, and this is from um, Art Deco. And I just fell in love with the actual packaging, first of all, which is, I know it's so shallow, but it's a bronzing glow blusher. Uh, but I swear the finish is beautiful um, it's actually got like a nice coral a pink and a, like a torpy a torpy bronzer in there and it does have a shimmer to it but it really gives a lovely flush to the cheeks and I actually just swirl my brush around um, and it gives a lovely glow to the cheeks and I've been really enjoying that one next one is NARS. I went sort of NARS mad over the last sort of few months just sort of ordering it. Uh, I got it from I think Strawberry Net, I think some from Beauty Bay uh, and also from Mega Cosmetica but I really like I said had a good chance to play with them. This one that I really loved was actually Sin uh, and I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera. I'm sure you've seen this one before. This is one of the favorite ones I've been enjoying but uh, to my eye it looks like a it's like a rosy torpy purple with a like a golden shimmer that's probably the most the, the weirdest description of it ever given beautiful color and i really really have loved it um but sort of the stronger colors that i've been loving i have been using sort of this brush and i know it's needs a good clean but this is the real techniques brush um samantha chapman i actually got this one on iherb a fair while ago it's from the limited edition one i think there were like three brushes in the set this is one of the gero fiber ones this has been great, particularly for this next blush uh, that I have fallen in love with. Uh, this one is from the Balm. It's from the In Stain range. It's the Powder Stain Blushes. I'll just open it up. And this one, what color is it? Oh, it's actually the Spring. It's uh, Hound's Tooth. This is a beautiful pink. As you can see there. Uh, but this, you really, really just need the lightest touch to get um, a good sort of pink almost i wouldn't say a quite like a dusty pink almost um flush the cheeks and it does sort of give a stain uh effect like it really does stay on all day it lasts all day um so i have really loved that where some of my other blushes sort of wear off during the day because i'm sort of i'm like oh, i'm maybe on the phone or i'm touching my face and that that one really does give lasting power throughout the whole day so i have really enjoyed uh, another blush uh that i also picked up online i think this was a yeah, mega cosmetica sunday riley range and this is in the blushing now i have a few other ones i might actually do a comparison video or an overview video at some time uh, but this one is just a beautiful sort of pink this one i think would do a lot of skin tones justice uh, but it isn't a matte finish. I mean, I, I, I'm always into matte finishes, but a lot of the ones I've been loving aren't matte finishes. This is sort of, it gives a really a faint shimmer uh, to it. It's not matte, but it's not like one of those heavy, luminous sort of um, blushes as well. But I really loved it. And they're so soft and so silky. So there's that one. Um, another one um, that I've loved, I've been really getting into the Tarte um, blushes. This one is... Ex exposed i mean i knew i would love it um i know this one gets a lot of coverage sort of out there but i do love the finish this is the amazonian clay and it does sort of help with it does seem to help absorb the oil because i tend to get a little bit shiny around the cheeks um but this seems to stay on and i don't get that sort of oiliness sort of to the skin um, and i just love it it really sort of gives a nice natural sort of look to at least to my skin tone uh, so there's that one. Um, another one is by Corres. Now I've been wanting to try Corres for the longest time and I just yeah, never got around to the sort of prices that uh, are out there in Australia. But I was in Cosmo Cosmetics, I think it's called, in the city. And I noticed they had some stuff in there as well as the lip butters that I picked up at like a really reasonable cost. I'm not 100% sure that the... Um, 
the ranges are authentic. They claim that they are. Um, this is in pink. Just a lovely sort of satin finish, pink. Um, but they seem to be. And um, I sort of went into Mecca Cosmetica after that and sort of tried to compare it. But also, uh, I mean, kit, but also, um, I did, they have MAC in there. And I kind of thought it looked like a lot of the MAC cosmetics that they had in Target, if any of you remember. I think it was, it was the last or the year before. And there was that big controversy over it. Uh, and it ended up being sort of fake MAC, all the like. So I emailed MAC and just asked them. They aren't, uh, Cosmo Cosmetics aren't one of their retailers or one of the, um, we call it distributors um, that Mac uh, have. Uh, so they, they said they, they didn't know if the cosmetics were authentic. Um, and I have heard that they do get them from um, an American supplier or somewhere in the US. So I'm not 100% sure. So I didn't get any Mac, but this one did seem to be. And I have honestly really enjoyed the finish on this one. Again, this is something I really, and the Tarte Expose, have enjoyed for work where I want a more sort of natural look or a natural finish to the cheeks. I don't want like a lot of shimmer. I don't want a lot of uh, strong color. And that's been really, really good. Uh, I think that's, oh no, actually, no, there's more, <laughs> more blush. Uh, I've really, really, like I said, fallen in love with the NARS. I was a little bit behind the times, mainly because of the price point that we have here. But Strawberry Net seemed to be pretty good. Mecca is a little bit more expensive, but I've sort of been dealing between Mecca, and like I said, a lot of the online stores overseas, and Strawberry Net. But I got this duo. It's the, uh, you can see, we've got uh, Doll Face, and you've got the NARS Laguna bronzer. So I thought that was great for something to throw into my bag. Um, and Dollface seems to be a lovely, sort of nice, bright pink, but it doesn't come off, like, too much on my skin. It just gives a nice, sort of, a, like, highlight or a nice, sort of, awake look to my skin. And it's got that, sort of, silver uh, shimmer to it. And I, I don't, it really just, sort of, falls off. So I don't really get a lot of that on my skin, which I, I do like. Uh, and um, the Nars Laguna I've actually really enjoyed. I went in there and I tried it and I thought, I might as well give it a go. So I also picked that one up and I've actually really enjoyed it because um, I've been so into matte bronzers, but this I really love. It's such a nice velvety sort of uh, finish and it, the sort of gold shimmer that they have in it, it's just very, very light and you don't really see it. It just comes off as a nice sort of radiant glow to the cheeks. So yeah, not too bad. So I have enjoyed that as a bronzer. Uh, other bronzers I've been obsessed with. Um, cargo, I finally got the Cargo Blu-ray High Definition Bronzer. First I thought, oh gosh, it's going to be a bit too orangey for me. But actually, it, it looks really nice. It actually gives a nice sort of natural look to my skin. Um, I tend to go for uh, ones that are far too dark for me and maybe a little bit too red based and, and such. But this actually works quite well on me. So I have really liked that one. So, um, yeah. And I might do a sort of comparison of all my bronzers um, as well. So I might just do an overview of that. Uh, and I've also finally picked up, uh, I think it was from Beauty Bay a few months back, I got the Too Faced Soil, or <laughs> I'll put the name down below. You know the ones, I mean, the sort of chocolate ones that have the cocoa in it. Um, and it was a shame because I wanted the old packaging so I could sort of get the difference. I thought they were cute, but both of them now have that gold. I've got the milk chocolate and the... Um, the standard one. So there's the light medium matte bronzer and the medium deep matte bronzer. But yeah, I, I just wanted them to look different. Um, but anyway, the uh, the light one, the, the milk chocolate is that one. Um, and it actually, uh, I think more because in winter I'm quite pale at the moment, I can sort of get away with it as a bronzer, but I can also use it as sort of like to warm my skin uh, as well, to sort of warm up my um, sort of foundation a little bit. Um, but the other one, this one, the deeper one, the actual chocolate, so it works more as my bronzer and um, even as a contour. So but that's the comparison there. Yeah, but what I love the most is just the smell, my God. It's absolutely, it reminds me, does anyone remember the, um, oh, they're still around, the, um, the chocolate scented erasers that we used to have in school. That sort of reminds you of those um, chocolate bars, the ones that are, you know, erasers. Oh, it smells like that, all that sort of, those 
milk chocolatey milkshakes or something. It's that sort of smell, but every time I swirl my brush around in it, I get that sort of sweet, fake chocolatey scent. And it's just, wow, it's actually really nice. I really like it. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, um, stick to the point. Um, I think that's sort of it. I'll pretty much skip over to foundation. I did mention in my um, sort of vlog video that I'd finally bitten the bullet and gotten the NARS foundation. Yeah, the Sheer Glow. Uh, so I've got the uh, matte and I also got the um, Sheer Glow as well. And I'm in the, the color Santa Fe. So, ooh. Um, I have to say, I really do like the uh, Sheer Glow better, even though apparently this is a little bit, bit the matte's a little bit better for more, my oily combination skin. This I find it's just far too, I wouldn't say thick, but it really does highlight any sort of dry areas on my skin. And this just sort of works a whole lot better. I found when I was doing the matte, just, just the matte, that I needed to work in a little bit of BB cream, a little bit of luminizer um, or something with it to sort of, I suppose, give it a more a more natural radiant uh, sort of thinner sort of look um, so it's, and a, a more blendable one so I did I do like this a little bit better but I might do a video sort of comparing them but I must say overall I do like the sheer glow one better than the matte but the matte really does give it a, a HD foundation and actually covers up my freckles on there but I find it's just way too much it's too too masky for me but that's just my personal um, personal feelings uh, what else oh and this, um, I I've been watching um, TVSN for the longest time. And I just thought, what the hell? I'm going to grab this. It's the uh, Skin D by Dimitri James Plasma Flawless Finish. don't even know if that will zoom in. I'll sort of scratch the label a little bit. Um, it's like a mattifying. It's not so much a powder. It gives a powder finish. But that's sort of it. You get the mirror and you get the product. Uh, but it's actually, it's like a, it feels like one of those stick deodorants, that ones that feel very, that feel dry when you touch it, or um, like those chafe stick gels, the chafe stick sticks that you get, um, you know, anti-chafing. That's sort of, sort of what it feels like. But pretty much um, you just pat it, you flip it over and it's got a little thing on there and you just sort of pat it over your sort of foundation. You don't have to be wearing foundation, but it's to cut down. Mm. Actually, I should have done it before I did the video. Maybe that'll work. To cut down the shine um, and give sort of like a nice sort of matte natural sort of finish to the skin rather than that sort of powdery HD finish that up oh, you know, that powdery look that you can get sometimes if you don't blend properly with the um, mattifying powders and that I have sort of been liking it what I really do is just throw it in my bag and when I'm out during the day rather than touching up my foundation or powder or like having to put primer on or so much in the morning if I forget or whatever I can just sort of use this to sort of take away that sort of shine that you sort of get through the day so that's sort of been what I've been liking it for and I will be doing a comparison of this to the HD powders and some other stuff that I've got as well another similar product but that's that's coming up uh, another thing I've been absolutely obsessed with uh, this month has been this it's a little Eve Pearl uh, duo it's the light medium uh, concealer or the salmon concealer get this little thing open uh, so on one side you've got the um, the light and then the salmon let's see um, concealer I love it it is it's like very creamy but uh, it's actually really nice and I thought oh it's not really gonna work with my skin tone but I um, mean it, it does it actually really does if I sort of blend it properly of course um, what I normally do is apply it with a damp sponge and blend it out nicely and it's so sort of, I can works around my eye area it works around even sort of my my nose the redness around there and all that to sort of uh, conceal it uh, but I still sort of use it sort of um, yellow around my eyes my physician's formula um, and I also might use something like this my Graftobian um, the muted green uh, to correct and then I use this as my sort of concealer so my corrector and concealer that's sort of how I do it um, and this I've been loving again I had like a couple of backups this is the graph it's probably got new packaging now it's the Graftobian HD Cream Corrector Muted Green. I love this because unlike my physician's formula green, which is like a like a mint green, like a proper green, like a yellowy green, this is that muted sort of light camo green, that sort of beigey green. And I find that looks a lot more natural and a lot easier to blend in. I find and it, it's a lovely creamy consistency that sort of blends really easily. Um, just jumping around on more random things. 
this thing I've loved. It's the Burt's Bees um, hand cream or cuticle cream. Lemon butter. I have loved it. I don't know what I was, I don't know if you can see how dented it is. I've got a couple of these. I've one in my bag, one on my desk, one at work. Um, and it just, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, and it really does smell like lemon butter. Like my mum used to make lemon butter. Mmm. Just delicious. Smells delicious. But it really is lemony. If you don't like lemons, you might not like the smell. But it feels so great around my cuticles, on my hands. It's just wonderful. I love this stuff. I'm obsessed. Um... Another thing I've been loving on the lips is this strawberry tinted lip balm um, by Mugu. I love it. I mean, I love lip balm in general, but I love this because it gives a lovely sort of pink tint to the lips. Uh, it's a really nice one too. Smells good, tastes good, feels good. And like they say, why use products that you can't eat? So I mean, that's the sort of whole thing behind it. Um, so I do, I do love it. And it is funny sort of where they originated from if you want to read about Mugu. Um, and something in particular I have to mention, because I mean, I loved it when I was traveling around New Zealand and particularly when I came back here and I wish I could get it again. I got it in New Zealand, but I'm not sure where to get it from here. It's the Bow Lishi. I'll put it down by there. It's a long lasting eyeliner. But this stuff is amazing. Like I only paid a couple, literally a couple of dollars from it from a chemist over there. And it's... Um, it's gotten a bit bent, but it used to have a really nice, fine sort of tip to it. But it's more the fact that the eyeliner would, it's literally as soon as I applied it, even before I'd finished applying the last little bit, it was dry, literally dry instantaneously, and I couldn't move it. I'd have to use, you know what I use if I've smudged it a bit, or oh, sort of gone over the line. I get a Q-tip um, and just sort of, you know, work it away, um, or I might even just use a little bit of, um, eye cream or something just to sort of get it in place a little bit of water but this stuff I had to um, literally get um, eye makeup remover or even eye primer or something to try and remove it because it was just would stay there all day and it didn't sort of wear around my eyes it didn't sort of work around it and sort of flake off it didn't dry it didn't smudge it was just amazing so I really love that really really love that and it's sort of like on it's literally on its last leg so I've been trying to replace it um I did have a a no-go for July really it just didn't work out I, I grabbed the um Rimmel exaggerated eyeliner 001 black it was okay and a prom price line it was okay for a little while and I'm glad I only got it I think it was half price some special first maybe week kind of okay but it would take a, quite a while to dry I was so used to the other one it would seem to take quite a while to dry in comparison and then I'll accidentally smudge it or something like that and then um, throughout the day I kept getting these sort of stuff creased around my eye here there everywhere and then I worked out it was actually this would just smudge and it wouldn't even last when even with eyelid primer it would just smudge and get around my eye so I'll stop using that and then I've gone on for the end Half of July, I've been loving this Face of Australia, the HD Liquid Eyeliner. This has been really good uh, as well. I've actually really enjoyed it, and it's got a lovely little sort of felt tip um, sort of pen there. Really, and you can get really fine lines or thick lines, cat eye, really good. So I've really loved that, and it hasn't smudged. Still doesn't compare to the Biolishi, or however you pronounce it, but this is much better than that Rimmel one. So, loving that. Um, some other things I've been loving, and I'm, this is going to turn into like the Jumbo Marathon July favourites, um, um, it's been these. It's the uh, Revlon, what are they, the Colour Burst Lip Butters. Yeah. Um, behind the times, they've sort of come and gone, maybe in popularity, I don't know, but I've just really gotten into them um, the last month. I've sort of been having them sitting around the last couple of months, but it wasn't until July that I really got into sort of enjoying them and trying all different colours and stuff like that. Uh, two in particular, um, and I've got backups in here, the Pink Truffle and the Berry Smoothie. Um, so they're sort of right up my colour my color alley. I won't even swatch them because I know this video is going to go into like ridiculous amounts of time, but um, I might do a, a video about these ones if anyone's interested. I doubt it because, like I said, I'm behind the times. Um, but other things I've been loving... Uh, Fragrances, I, you can see that I have absolutely adored this one, the Victoria's Secret Fabulous Body Mist. Love this stuff. I got this at Sydney Airport, like the Victoria's Secret run there. It was just running something quick. 
but I've loved it. I've loved it like the last couple of months, but to particularly in July, just as something quick to spray over to give a bit of fragrance. And it's a lovely candy floral scent. That's how I describe it. Just a nice fresh candy floral scent. Um, I've enjoyed that. Um, also been heavily into in July this white musk one. I think yeah, Body Shop. I love this. Um, I mean, I loved it. I used to love it when I was in uni, the um, white musk, um, but I just sort of forgot about it. And then I saw it in the body shop and I thought, oh, that's right. I used to love it. And that body has been just lovely. It's lovely and light, not heavy like the like the, more, like the perfumes or etc. but um, just something light to have on. Um, and quickly, quickly, eye creams. I mean, I mentioned these again in my vlog. I still use the Olay uh, Cucumber Eye Gel at night to sort of help with the um the puffiness but during the day i sort of swap up between these dur or during the week really um because I, I like to have something that's very creamy but very hydrating so I'm, i picked up again the keels creamy eye treatment with avocado oil really been into that in july um and it really does hydrate around my eye area and when i sort of need something that's a little bit more eye brightening which is this one the origins with ginseng it's fabulous. absolutely love it. And I'm so glad to see that Kit Cosmetics um, and um, what's the other one? Mecca have come down because they used to be about, I'm sure it used to be about $65. So I, could, I only could ever get the samples. Um, but now it's about 40 something dollars, I believe 45 around about that price mark. I mean, these both came down quite significantly to what they were, but which is great. So love the I could mention, but this is getting a little bit over the time. So guys, I hope you like some of my favorites. I really want to do proper swatches and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do maybe some overview videos um, as well. Maybe blushes, bronzers, foundations and stuff like that coming up. So guys, looking forward to hearing and seeing all your July favorites. So take care.